Welcome to Beloved Blackness, week 14. I'm Dr. B. So the past few weeks, we've been talking about the notion of culture and um, taking Dr. Wade Noble's idea of culture having three different layers. And so we're dealing with the deep layer of culture. And the last two weeks talked about ontology in terms of the essence of being. And that an African ontological way of viewing things is consubstantiation or everything comes from the same substance and that substance is spirit. And so today I want to talk about cosmology, which is the structure of reality or the structure of the universe. And so in an African cosmology, everything is interrelated or interdependent. There isn't this sense of independence or separateness, but that whatever happens within one aspect of nature or reality impacts other aspects of nature or reality. So that could mean between us as people, um, in relationship to other created animals, uh, beings um, like animals. Um, also, it could be in relationship to um, the climate, the universe itself, and um, that there's interconnectedness or in interdependency that's at the foundation of an African cosmology. So I was trying to think of like a, a relevant um, current day example, and I thought about Colin Kaepernick. And so some people, if you're coming from more of a Eurocentric centric world, worldview of independence or separateness, someone could say, shoot, he could have made so much money if he had just focused on football and not taken a knee. But from an African cosmology, everything is interconnected. So what he saw happening within the black community, he saw as affecting him. Not that his own status as a professional NFL player was somehow separate from the status and the conditions of other black persons. And so from an African cosmology, his actions make sense because of the idea of interconnectedness or everything's interrelated or everything's interdependent as opposed to separate or independent. So that's an example of how we can kind of think through an African cosmology that everything's interdependent. So I want you to reflect on this coming up week. Ways in which in your life you see an African cosmology coming too, but you never thought about it in that way in terms of seeing the world through the lens of interdependence. All right, until next week.